Hey Stampers, another video tutorial. We're gonna do another simple yet awesome card fold. Um, I Let me pull this over. This is the Cozy Christmas or Home for Christmas. I'll post the names in the video. Um, DSP that we're using and pay attention to how you're cutting it because you want your, <laughs> I would think, you would want all your images pointed up. This is going to be a uh, a horizontal cut but a vertical looking card so when you cut your cardstock it's the 12 inches long and it's five and a half wide so this is how it's going to sit so you want to make sure you're cutting your DSP this one has words for silent night on it and the Santa's the ones with patterns you might not worry about it's completely up to you so we've got five and a half by 12 for our DSP these ones are already scored, um, and I know you guys all know how to score, so you want to do the 2, 4, 8, and 10. So it's 5.5 by 12. On the long side, you're going to score it 2, 4, 8, and 10. So you have an inside card, um, standard card size, and then they have the two smaller rectangular flaps. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to fold this guy in on the score line and then back out on the score line and you're gonna fold this guy in on the score line and then back out on the score line so you've got a card that opens like this okay flip and fold card is uh, is what it's called it's a really cool wow card with really when you use really cool DSP with it. So we've got our fold done. And what you're going to want to do, whether it's with a ruler or with a grid paper, it's five and a half wide. So we want to find our two and three quarters mark. So two and three quarters is right there. This side. It's not going to work. Doesn't matter. Flip it over. It's halfway anyway, so two and three quarters isn't going to matter. There we go. Okay. So we've got our two and three quarter mark, and we want our inside score. So you've got your standard card base right here in the middle. And actually, there's the inside of our card. And I cut the cardstock to three and a half by five, and the white cardstock to three by four and a half. And then I just stamped a Christmas wishes. So three and a half by five for the cardstock, three and f by four and a half for the white, and that's going to fit in our center. So you've got your standard card base there. And then you've got your first score line and your second score line. So the first ones are the closest ones in, the second ones are the, the next ones out. So we want to go from our two and three quarter mark to our closest score line, the innermost score line. So you're going to have a diagonal there. So I'm just going to draw a line on this. I found it a little difficult when we were doing this at Stamp Club. It was a little difficult to see. Um, so I'm going to draw a little pencil mark. There. So you see you've got your little lines that will help with your cutter. I'm going to use my big cutter just because I have it on hand. The little cutter obviously would work fine as well, whatever you've got. And I'm going to line up my, my little pencil mark line that I've got here especially when you're using a pattern DSP, much easier if you make the pencil mark. I'm noticing from club, it's a bit difficult. Not impossible, just takes a little bit more eyeballing, that's all. And pencil's great, you can erase, so it's all good. It's not gonna show anywhere. So now we have a card base that looks like that. And we have two little pieces. So I am going to, I'm not going to worry about my pencil marks because I'm going to flip the card stock. So, okay, I hope I can explain this properly. There's the front of our card. See, now you can see the other side of the DSP, eh? Pretty cool. Now we're going to put more of those points that is down here. And what will happen is you want to take this piece from up here 
and you want to flip it down here. So literally, well actually, no that's this one. Um, it would have to go, yeah you'd have to take the opposite ones. Um, you want to take the pieces from the top and put them on the bottom and they're already scored. So if you just fold that score the other way, that's going to line up with the score line that's already there, right? So all you have to do is adhere this onto your paper. So I'm just going to take a bit of fuse. Now my head might get in the way, I'm sorry, I want to try to line this up. So I want to line it up with this score line in here and I want to make sure that my other score line here lines up. There, and then everything will fold. Ah, it worked just as it should. So you kind of have like this stripe pattern to the card. And your churches and houses are all nicely lined up. See, it works perfectly. So I'm just going to fold this crease the other way. Take some of my fuse. And I want to line this up. And if you have any edges, this one has a little bit of an edge. Of course, the only scissors that are within reach are my big, big, big ones. I'm just gonna snip off that little edge. There, and you're done your card base. And then you can decorate it however you like. So I just put a little Christmas wishes in here and I'm gonna pull in some of the other ones we did at Club. And I took the, the same stamp set, the Cozy Christmas stamp set. And I put the little house with the snowflake just as a, a closure or an embellishment on the front. And then I used some of the decorative label punches on the back just so that it wouldn't look ugly from the other side and made sure that it had a good backing on it beforehand. There's one. And this one is using a different DSP, but it has the trees and then it has the poinsettias. And same thing. My trees ended up upside down on the inside. So keep that in mind when you're cutting your DSP as well. If you've got a pattern, this one had the churches on one side and the poinsettias on the other. So it didn't matter that the poinsettias were upside down, so to speak, but it would matter for the church churches. So if this had mattered to you, you might have wanted to put the trees on the inside so that they stay upright, and then the poinsettias would have shown down here so that it doesn't matter what direction they're going in. So something to think about when you're making your, uh, when you're making your card. There you have it. The flip and fold card. Voila. Have fun. Happy stampin'.